My name is Cassie Summers. Welcome to the Curious Universe podcast. Welcome to the show. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, and I hope you're willing to explore something with me that might be a little bit out there, might be a little bit different, but you know, that's kind of how I like to flow anyways. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about where we transfer consciousness just by being us in the world and how this can play into the concept of life purpose. So what actually inspired this um, conversation today was I was working one-on-one with a client and we had gotten to this really uh, cool awareness about her in regards to um having gaslighters and narcissists in her life. Now, if you've done any of this self-work, often some of the stuff roots in our childhood. And if you're into the weird stuff, then maybe some of it actually roots into other lifetimes. And so as we were uh, processing and looking at this um, experience in her life where she continuously was attracted to and drawn to and drawing in narcissists, gaslighters, those types of men in her life. And um, one thing came out of the session was the awareness that she was actually gathering information. She was gathering information about this type of functioning on the planet, this type of vibration on the planet. And that part of her gift of being here on the planet was to shift that vibration. Now, this can get very significant. And I'm going to invite you out of significance with this as much as possible. Significance is a killer of awareness and a killer of possibilities. So without significance, you could look at that as Oh, you start to become out here in the observer, right? Oh, wow, that's so interesting. So I experienced this and I got all this information that maybe she didn't have before. Maybe she'd never experienced gaslighting or really got um, clear on what that is. I know myself having um, been in an 11 year gaslighting relationship, I know dynamics of it that just other people don't. Um, when I go to talk to them about it or they try to understand, they can't comprehend it totally just because they've actually never experienced it or even something close enough to it that they can mentally digested, I guess. Uh, So then she went to this, oh my God, is this what my life purpose has to be? I get a lot of people are looking for their life purpose. And sometimes those those traumas, those things, they do um, kind of catapult someone onto a different track, right? We hear about um, alcoholics that have eventually found a system of recovery that really works for them. And then they pursue that as their career and they spend their life contributing and insisting others getting out of alcoholism. And when they look at it, they look at, they chose that experience this lifetime so they could actually get the information of what was going on and really like, if you were an alcoholic, would you relate more to someone that had gone through it or to someone that just empathizes with you? It's you would relate to someone that's gone through it. And then so they be, that becomes kind of their choice in life. You could call it a life purpose. Um, I don't personally 
believe that we have one ultimate purpose. I get that we come with the multitude of gifts to the world and um, uh, receiving of possibilities. But this is where someone can take a trauma, they can take something, an experience in their life, and they can turn it into, oh, that's what I'm here for. And that's what I want to do. And they make beautiful impacts. Now, in this case, this person was like, it was, did not have a sense of lightness and joy and like fulfillment to be spending the rest of her life talking about gaslighting and narcissism and working with people. Um, she has a completely different clientele and, uh, and she really actually loves that. And to, to kind of pivot everything into this new direction was really bogging her down. And it, it got me really exploring this. It got me exploring where we think that just because we have a gift for something or just because we have come to the earth to expand some piece of consciousness does not necessarily mean that we have to be playing in that exact arena. And then we get to conscious transferring. So, uh, what if bodies, beings, energy can communicate without having to have a vocal conversation about anything? What if, if for her, she now with this new awareness, now with this new space of being from all of this, that she now has this in her universe. She has this awareness of gaslighting, this awareness of narcissism, and also the awareness of how to free herself from it. And so she walks in the world with that consciousness in her universe. And anyone willing can actually tap into that universe. She could walk into a coffee shop. She could order a cup of coffee. She could say hello and be nice to the barista person, get her coffee and leave. And there could be someone in that coffee shop, maybe having a conversation with her girlfriend and she could suddenly have the awareness. Oh my God, I'm being gaslit. There was no direct conversation. It's not like a transaction of information. It's where consciousness can just transfer. It can just, and not transfer as in like it goes from one to the other, but it can like expand and touch and contribute to anyone and anything limitlessly. So yeah, she could change her whole business and make her whole life about this one thing, or she could know that, well, I'm going to be the vibration of this freedom, this awareness in the world, and just let it do what it's here to do. And for her, that was so much lighter and generative. Um, And it's a lot easier than we think it has to be. You see, what if it's being you that changes the world? Not necessarily uh, putting in a lot of hard work to change something dedicating your life to something. You might jump job to job to job to job, but being you in every job and every circumstance and every relationship, maybe you have multiple, maybe you have so many relationships, <laughs> but people can't even understand it. But what if every interaction that you have, you're in, in you being you, you're gifting change and possibility into the world that is not cognitive. Yeah. So what is it for you? What is it for you that you've experienced that you haven't fully acknowledged that you experienced it to gain awareness, to gain information, to shift your own vibration, to become intimate with different vibrations, different energies that, and it doesn't mean, and I think some people are like, well, I don't want to know that because I don't want to feel like I'm now locked into it. I want to pretend like I wasn't abused. 
so that I'm not locked into abuse. But you actually, by avoiding it and pretending like it didn't happen, is the lock that's locking you in. When you acknowledge, oh, wow, I chose that. And look at what I have received and look at what I can now gift and what I can now be. How beautiful, how miraculous. And that unlocks you. It unlocks you from the lie. It unlocks you from having to continuously attract that similar person in a different body, <laughs> that similar vibration into your life. Maybe it's it could be dip, like, let's switch into another thing. Like, what if it was survival? So what if you were born into a family that was uh, having a lot of financial difficulties and then you bought that on as you're going to have financial difficulties and you lived in a town with financial difficulties and you just continuously had financial difficulties. Okay, cool. Is there something about that that you could gain awareness from or that you have gained awareness from that you're not acknowledging? Maybe it's the idea that survival is a lie. Maybe it's the awareness that some people love to function from survival. Maybe it's the awareness of how to go from survival to thrival. And when you acknowledge that piece, oh, how cool is that? Then again, you don't have to make it your life mission. It does not now become your purpose in life. And you can use it if that is generative for you, if that lights you up. I know an amazing woman, Simone Millis, she was $140,000. I think that was it. $140,000 in debt. Something incredible like that. And she's now, um, she would have like value in, in the millions. Okay. And she went from that to this. And that's, and she loves talking about getting out of debt. She loves talking about generating wealth and the joy of business. And that's something that she's being in the world. That's a massive contribution. And people can see that story. They can see that transformation and go, yes, I can relate. I'm here and I want to get to there. So you can absolutely use your experiences to contribute to the world. But please know you don't have to be locked into any experience as though now that's all you get to be. Now that's all, that's what you have to dedicate your life to. Because the thing is every, every single awareness that you have this lifetime, the moment you have the awareness, it's open. It's, it's open to the public. (laughs) When you go, oh, and you, you become aware that you're not crazy. You've just been gaslit. You, you put that into the universe and all over the planet all over beyond planets, okay? Like galaxies, okay? There are beings that will go, oh, and they will have that same awareness. The moment you were willing to have it in your universe, allowed others to have it in theirs. And more and more and more and more. And that's how easy it is to change the world. It's such a beautiful gift. And if it, and if it does let you up to connect with people, to talk to people about this thing, then please do it because the world needs that too. But please acknowledge you just being in the world massively contributes to more awareness, the more aware you're willing to be. So you could be like, oh, I need to travel more. I need to go to Hawaii (laughs) on vacation because I have some consciousness to expand. (laughs) But what if that was actually true? What if you really acknowledge when you're traveling, when you're in the grocery store, when you are just smiling at someone, you truly are giving them the gift of all that you have as consciousness, all of it. 
all the awareness, the, the beautiful vibrations that you are, because there's no separation and there isn't actually tears of being, okay? There's not like someone's less than and someone's more than. Someone can be choosing more than, so their vibration will be different, but you're, it's not this anointed royalty kind of thing. You're not born into something and then you have to stay there. That's not how the universe actually works. You can choose anything. You are in a free will universe. You have choice here. And others have choice too. And you get to be a part of this global movement. Every time you're willing to explore your own universe, every time you're willing to come to your cool awarenesses, um, and then especially when you go and interact with people in any way, and again, you don't have to share with them. You don't have to tell them like, oh my God, I'm reading this book about aliens, aliens and it's so amazing. And they're going to look at you like you're crazy. You can just be there with them. You can be talking about anything. It doesn't really matter because the energetic communication is going on and bodies communicate too. So your body is on this adventure with you. The more conscious you get, the more conscious your body gets and your body gets better at communicating and um, gifting and receiving from others as well. So you being there with someone and say you're talking about the weather, something totally mundane, <laughs> mediocre. And the energetic conversation could be quite rich and quite expansive. And it won't just be between you and that person. It will, I mean, depending on your space of being really can be quite far out in every direction. Have you ever had a conversation with someone and at the end of it, you felt like the world had changed somehow because it had, because it does. We look at this planet and there's so many problems. There's so many things that don't work, truly. And it can feel overwhelming and hopeless to think of how do we fix all of this? How do we change all of this? What's my part in this? What's my purpose in this? What am I expected to do? Well, what if you just get to live your life? And hopefully you choose a joyful one, an expansive one, and one full of ease and glory. What if you don't have to find that one thing that's going to cognitively give you the cause and effect? Because that can be really limiting. Because even that person that was an alcoholic, you know, that was able to get past it and they've dedicated their life to that, they're going to be touching people in different ways that they're not even aware of because they're all their attention's here, but that doesn't mean that their energy is all here. They might be contributing to people in massively different ways that they're not even cognitively aware of. It's way more multidimensional than just this. And it's way easier, even though it's way more complex. <laughs> it is this incredibly complex universe that is so easy to be in when you're when you're willing to be. Yeah. And yeah, I know sometimes being you know, is its own adventure. But 
I do hope you explore this for yourself. I do hope you look at you as this conscious catalyst everywhere you go, that you get to be the invitation to greater possibilities, to an expansion of curiosity and (laughs) wonder, possibility. That you don't have to choose anything this lifetime that you don't desire to choose. You could go like, I don't know, go be a soccer player and you still get to change the world. It doesn't have to be something that would be judged as or seen as significant in the overall raising the vibration of consciousness here. And it might be, but it doesn't have to be to matter. That's what I wanted to get to today. It doesn't have to be to matter because you matter. Your consciousness matters. Every choice you make that expands your awareness, expands your consciousness, expands the consciousness, <laughs> our consciousness and changes the world. So when you start to look look at life a little bit different from that, the whole idea of this purpose thing becomes less important, becomes less significant. It's what is so joyful for you to, to be, to do, to create. Just go for that. And it might change. Keep following it. And as you do that, know that consciousness is (laughs) converging with consciousness. It is all around you. You are it and you are being it in the world. Hmm. Even if you never talk to a single person again this lifetime, you're still you're still that conscious being that can open up new spaces for everyone. Thank you for joining me on the show. I hope this was a contribution to you. I can't wait to see where we go next. Thank you for exploring the curious universe with me. Your curiosity matters. And what if together we could create a greater, more curious world?